one disadvantage to a um, insulated concrete form building is um, also its advantage. It's very energy efficient. So no heat coming in, also no heat going out. So when would that be a problem? Um, uh, it would be a problem when you have areas within the building that could uh, experience high fluctuations in body counts or people. Uh, conference rooms, think the kitchen area at uh, lunch, um, the exercise room downstairs, uh, you know, when people are on break. So those areas could experience spikes in temperature due to body heat. Uh, the way to combat that, or the way that we combated that, was by installing, I think we have six Mitsubishi split units and those split units really are only there to cool the room in the event that uh, a large group of people congregate there and begin to heat the room up. The radiant floor system is not the most uh, quick reacting system. In fact, it takes hours to, I think it takes four hours to switch from cold to hot. Uh, part of that is programming to prevent you from cracking that slab and uh, causing issues structurally by switching immediately from a hot temperature to a cold temperature but the bottom line is it takes a while to uh, cool and or heat uh, a big massive floor like the one we have in our office so the Mitsubishi units are installed in areas that could experience spikes in temperature due to body heat and uh, they do a good job thing that we did with our HVAC system besides the radiant floor and the Mitsubishi spot units was uh, to treat both the incoming and um, outgoing air so a couple things that we did we pulled the air uh, that is exiting the building out of the men's and women's restrooms so we got rid of any odors um, as well as white noise that gets rid of any sound we installed those units directly above the ceiling of the men's and women's bathroom creates a lot of white noise. So odors and sounds emanating, emanating from the men's and women's bathrooms are canceled out by pulling the air out of that, those two spaces. Uh, the air is then passed through, the exiting air is then passed through incoming air uh, through a heat transfer uh, system, it's transferring the heat to the incoming air before it's uh, brought into the building and then the incoming air is scrubbed and uh, filtered. So a lot of things happening there. The air is pushed then through the ducting system into the building, throughout the building, uh, creating a flow that goes from the ducts uh, into the building, pushing the air throughout the office, and then out the bathroom again. 